In today's video, I am going to find out the region of convergence in jet transforms. And again, I am going to explain you a short trick for finding the region of convergence. So first of all, we have to find out z inverse of 1 by z minus 2 into z minus 3 for mod z less than 2. Mod z when lies between 2 and 3 when mod z is greater than 3. So there are three cases here. In the first case, I am taking mod z less than 2. First of all, I am going to construct this as capital F of z. F of z is equal to 1 by z minus 2 into z minus 3. So after resolving into partial fractions, this can be written as a by z minus 2 plus b by z minus 3. So see here, if I take an LCM with this, a into z minus 3 plus z, b into z minus 2. If I cancel the denominator, so I got a is, 1 is equal to a into z minus 3 plus b into z minus 2. So in order to get the values of a and b, put z is equal to 2 here and uh, I'll be getting the value of a as minus 1. If you put z is equal to 3, then I got the value of b as 1. So after getting a and b values, so I'll substitute the value of a as minus 1 and b as plus 1 and this is our function. So now we have to find out for the case mod z less than 2. So this is the case for mod z less than 2. There are three cases here. So I'll show you the region of convergence here. So in this case, if you observe, this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. So with 2 as radius, so this will be the, this will be the figure and here z is less than 2. Therefore, the region of convergence will be within 2. So it is less than 2. So this is ROC. So this one is the region of convergence for mod z less than 2 and see how we are going to find out the inverse. So f of z is equal to as usual that is z minus 3 minus this is z minus 2. So if mod z is less than 2 this mod z is even less than 3 clear. So if you compare with z and 3 see here z and 3 here is 3 and the ROC here is in between 0 to 2 and therefore which one is greater 2 is greater or z is greater so 3 is greater and therefore I am taking this 3 as a common factor so here minus 3 1 minus z by 3 clear when you compare with z and 2 see z and 2 which one is greater 1 2 is greater so I am taking minus 2 common this is 1 minus z by 2 and it's, it's very easy. Minus 1 by 3. If I take it to the numerator, this will be 1 minus z by 3 inverse minus of minus. This is plus half times of 1 minus z by 2 inverse. So if I expand this one, minus 1 by 3. This is 1 plus z by 3 plus z square by 3 square plus and so on. Plus half times of this is 1 plus z by 2 plus z square by 2 square plus and so on. So this is the value of z inverse of f of z is equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 1 plus z by 3 plus z square by 3 square plus and so on plus half times of 1 by 1 plus z by 2 plus and so on for mod z less than 2. And in the second case, see here for the second case, I'll show you the region of convergence that is 2 less than f of z less than 3. So our function value here is f of z is equal to clearly f of z value is equal to 1 by z minus 3 minus 1 by here this is z minus 2. So this is 2 less than mod z less than 3. Clear? See, this is the region. This is 1, this is 2 and this value is 3. With 2 as radius and this is the region and next one with 3 as radius and this is the region. And see, z is greater than 2. So z value is greater than 2 and it is less than 3. So it is less than 3 and it is greater than 2 and therefore it is in between 2 and 3. So here 
in between this is minus 2 and this is minus 3 in between 2 and 3 here will be the ROC the region of convergence is in between 2 and 3 so here if you observe the, the region lies between 2 comma 3 it is less than 3 and greater than 2 so this is greater than 2 and this value is less than 3 and this is the ROC and now how to find this inverse so here z inverse of f of z value is equal to so 1 by among z and 3 so among z and 3 see here which one is greater 3 is greater so if 3 is greater I am taking 3 as common that is 1 minus z by 3 and minus so among z and 2 among z and 2 which one is a greater value z so here I have to take z common z that is 1 minus 2 by z so this will be the answer this is minus 1 by 3 times of 1 minus z by 3 inverse and this is minus 1 by z times of 1 minus 2 by z inverse so this value will be 1 by 3 times of this is 1 plus z by 3 plus z square by 3 square plus and so on minus 1 by z times of 1 plus 2 by z plus 2 square by z square plus and so on so here the value here is minus 1 by 3 minus z by 3 square minus this is z square by 3 cube minus and so on this is minus 1 by z minus this is 2 by z square minus this is 2 square by z cube and so on minus and so on so here if you observe this one so z inverse of z inverse of f of z can be written here as f of n small f of n as minus 2 power n minus 1 for n positive value and this is minus 3 power n minus 1 for n less than 0 here if you, for the negative values it is minus 3 power n minus 1 and for positive values here that is minus 2 power n minus 1 and for the second case this is the value and for the third case mod z is greater than 3 so for mod z greater than 3 for the case 3 case 3 here mod z is greater than 3 so what is our function here our function value here is f of z is equal to after substituting the value of b as 1 and a as minus 1 this will be 1 by z minus 3 minus 1 by z minus 2 mod z is greater than 3 so our roc will be this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so the region of convergence is our z value is greater than 3 so this will be like this this will be our roc region of convergence then how to find out uh, the inverse for using this so f of z is equal to so when you compare these two z and 3 so here if you extend this one this is mod z is greater than even 2 if you compare these two z and 3 which one is greater z is greater and therefore i am taking z common so z is equal to 1 minus 3 by z minus among z and 2 see here z and 2 which one is greater z is greater now i am taking z as common 1 minus 2 by z so f of z is equal to this is 1 by z times of 1 minus 3 by z minus 1 by z times of 1 minus this is 2 by z so here it is inverse so f of z value is equal to 1 by z times of this is 1 plus 3 by z plus 3 square by z square plus and so on minus 1 by z times of 1 plus 2 by z plus 2 square plus z square plus and so on and see f of z value here is this is 1 by z plus this is 3 by z square plus 3 square by z cube 
plus and so on minus 1 by z minus 2 by z square minus 2 by z cube minus and so on. Therefore, our z inverse. So, z inverse of f of z value is equal to f of n. This can be written as 3 power n minus 1 minus 2 power n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1. So, this is how we have to find out the region of convergence. Thank you for watching and this is most important question. Here is a small tip that is whichever it is greater we have to take that one as common and we have to proceed on for finding the inverse jet transform. Thank you so much for watching.